Hello and welcome to a new episode about using FreeCAD for making things on the CNC. Today we are going to talk about making a pattern for cabinet doors. Let's go to the part design workbench. The first thing that we need to do is create a model of our board, the board that we are going to make the pattern on. So I will make a sketch in the XY plane. A simple rectangle, give it a length of 300, a height of 300, because I have a board of 300 by 300 millimeters. Now I will pad it 18 millimeters. It's an 18 millimeters thick MDF board. So now that I have the board, I'm going to start creating the pattern. I want a wavy pattern. The most simple way that I found to make a wavy line in FreeCut is using the part workbench, not part design. So let's go to the part workbench and I will create a primitive. I will select from the drop down a helix and I'm going to give it some dimensions 25 millimeters pitch a height larger than the board usually I use twice the length of the board I will leave the radius to one and I will click create and then close the window you can see that the helix is going upwards I want to rotate it to be along the board so I will modify the axis on the x to 1, on the z to 0 and I will give it a value of 90 degrees which will rotate this way so I will just change the angle to minus 90. It is a 3D helix as you can see so I have to make it two dimensional. I will go to the draft workbench. I will press G and then R to hide that annoying grid. I will select the helix, set a top view and then press this button shape to the view. I can now hide the helix and if I look closer I can see that now I have a wavy line created from this helix from its projection on the XY plate. Hide this board for now and I will go back to the part workbench. Now I have this shape to the view. Now I select the mirroring tool and I will mirror it along the YZ plane. Click on OK. I have two wavy lines. I still have to move the second one. I will change its X to 5. Now I have two lines mirrored and they will create a nice space for the V-carve operation. The next thing that I want to do is to create a compound out of these two shapes. So I will open in the tree both of them, select them both holding the control key and click on the compound button make compound. Now with this compound I will go back to draft workbench, make another projection, make sure the top is clicked so I have a perpendicular view and make another projection I can hide the compound and from this shape to the view 001 I will use this tool draft to sketch now I can also hide the shape to the view and I have this sketch which I can edit in the sketcher because I still need to close these ends so I will just draw a straight line between these two points zoom out go to the other end and draw another straight line with this sketch I will go to the part design workbench unselect the sketch first create a new body and move the sketch into the body now I can pad this I will pad it for one millimeter it doesn't really matter how much I will make a clone of this body and the second body I have to move it around the Y will be moved 12.5 millimeters which is half of the pitch I used for the helix and now just modify the X to get a nice result I like the way it looks so now I have two bodies here I will select them both go back to the part workbench and make a new compound using these two bodies I can now show the board again and I still have to move this compound so I'm going to position the Z has to be 18 millimeters which is the height of the board minus one the extrusion that I've used. I can see that at this end goes outside of the board so I will change the X to 3 millimeters. As I remember I made this 600 the board is 300 so I have to center it and I will make the Y minus 150. I have just two lines here and I want them repeated all over the board. Board. I will go back to the draft workbench and use the array tool. I will just leave these values as they are because they cannot be edited here using a formula. I will close the dialog. So the number X is going to be 300 which is the width of my board divided by the width of this compound. How do I get to that? I will start writing compound. The compound that I'm using here is compound 001. Then I'll type shape bound box. You have to know that these formulas are case sensitive so it's important to follow the lowercase and uppercase letters and x length. And now you can see I have 20 repetitions which go very far away because I still have to change the interval on the x which is again compound 001 shape bound box 
x length the pattern is repeating all along the x-axis the entire board is covered by this pattern i now have to go to the part workbench select the board then holding the control key down select the array and use this tool which is cut it takes some time i have a very nice board with some wavy cutouts i will just rename it cutout board the shape of the pattern is ready i still have to make the cam part so i will go to the path workbench select the board click on the create job make sure the solid the cutout board is selected and that's the only solid selected adjust the extensions make sure the origin is correctly placed i will go to the tools tab click on add and select the 60 degree pointy v bit from my list which is not a 60 degree pointy v bit it's a 90 degree pointy v bit i just misnamed it when i created it give some horizontal speed a vertical speed and a spindle speed close the dialog i will hide the board and open the model in the job and i want to make a v curve along this recessed channels into the job i could select all these faces holding the control key down and make a v curve for all of them but after 10 minutes of waiting for it to compute i had to force close FreeCAD so there has to be a much simpler solution which is the following I will just select the first two after selecting them I will go and select the VCARV operation click on apply and it makes it very very fast as you can see it just takes a couple of seconds and everything is okay I will close this operation and I still have to multiply it just as I did when creating the body I have to make this operation many times along the x-axis I will select it from the tree click on the array button i need to enter the number of copies and the offset on the x-axis the offset is the same as in the previous array compound 001 shape bound box x length and the number of copies is the total length divided by compound 001 shape bound box x length i can see i have a repetition outside that's because the number of copies in this array is different from the number of repetitions in the draft workbench this doesn't take into account the initial operation that we are copying so i have to subtract one after the formula i will write minus one i have 20 copies now and they perfectly match the array that i've already made using the draft array as you can see the array is made almost instantly it's very very fast as i've told you before my computer wasn't able to compute in 10 minutes all the path for all this v curve so it's much easier to use the array for the path because this array doesn't compute anything just repeats the same v curve that uh, i have created for these two lines so it's much easier to make a v curve for the unique elements and then repeat it again and now i can go to the cnc and mill the board